Alright, so in this video, I want to take a quick look at some bags you can use for storing personal documents, valuables, and things. And they are both water and fire resistant. Alright, check out a couple of images. It'll give you a few more details. And then we'll take a look and we'll test out how well they hold up to both water and fire. Alright, so before we jump into the video, this is the side that has had fire come against. And I actually just cleaned it with Dawn dishwashing detergent. And it's very, very faint. You can barely, I don't know if you can even see it in the camera, but you can barely make out a little bit of browning. <clears throat> Excuse me. On the back side, you can see it's untouched. So no fire there. And some fire there. Now, water and fire resistance keep in mind this is the uh, least protective of all because it has only a zipper and no velcro so it doesn't have the double closure number one and number two keep in mind you should keep these inside of a fireproof box for added security uh, although you don't have to uh, this will give you a degree of protection but if you want the best protection use some type of fireproof box or safe keep this inside and again you should be able to get Pretty good use out of it depending upon what is exposed to but you can see this side fire very light browning this side nothing all right so let's go ahead and continue into the video take a little closer look all right so as stated we're taking a look at these document bags storage bags you can use these for uh, just about anything really that you need to uh, safeguard from uh, potential damage from water and or fire so Real quickly, you have a warranty and a thank you card included. <clears throat> you have different sizes available. So, these navy blue, I'm going to say it's kind of a navy blue color. These bags, they look to be the same size, but there are a slight difference. I don't know how well you'll see. But there's just a little bit of difference between these two, the larger of the two. So it comes as a two-pack, and every one of them is designed basically the same. So this one, this smaller one here, has a zipper on the top. It has that silver reflective, heat reflective material on the inside, but no, no uh, Velcro flap. So we'll go ahead and close that back, set that one to the side. I kind of like these a little bit better because I feel like you've got like a little bit of an additional layer of protection. So, again, on the inside, that silver, shiny, reflective, heat reflective material. You have a really actually a very nice zipper as far as the uh, quality feels. So you just zip that up, Velcro that closed. And again, you could pretty much store anything you wanted. You could probably put phones, tablets, you know, some electronics in a uh, case like this if you really wanted to protect them uh, you could put passports, birth certificates, any kind of insurance uh, car, home, uh, property related ownership of paperwork just anything really that you feel like will fit is going to be ideal for this and it has a nice sort of texture to it you can kind of see and this this one's a little different one is a the larger one is sort of gray smaller ones are kind of a silver color and then you have these blue and again all of these have the same basic design with the velcro and the closure so i thought it'd be kind of fun to see what happens when you put fire to these things so let's use this one because it doesn't have the flap over the top so we'll use this one for our testing purposes because with this one I think that you're going to have more chance of vulnerability because it has only a zipper so we'll see what it does when it comes to fire 
and then we'll uh, see what it does when it comes to water. Uh, you should be good up to about 1800 degrees. Now obviously I can't, well I don't have the means to recreate temperatures that hot, but let's just pour lighter fluid on it, light it on fire and see what happens. <laughs> and then we'll pour water on it as well. And for our, you know, important file, we're just going to put tissue because tissue is soft and easily flammable if it were to get too hot. But it's also very easy to show when it gets wet. And I think that will be an ideal, you know, item to stick inside. All right. So let's move everything outside, see what this does when we put the test of fire and water against it. Okay. <laughs> so we'll be back in a moment and see what happens. All right, so we've got our bag. I went ahead and just poured some lighter fluid on it to kind of let it sit there a little bit. Got some more right here. So we'll add a little bit more. The Kleenex is inside. We've got a paper towel here. Definitely feel some warmth coming off of it. Pretty decent flame. All right. Well, that is pretty much that. So let's see what happens now. Still got some flame going right there. Pour some water on this. I figured by letting the paper towel be on there, we'd have something sitting on it and not just a flash of fire. So it'd be more substantial for testing purposes. All right. So there. Now, we have the zipper, of course. So I poured it directly over the zipper. I don't know how well you could see that. And you can see we've got some discoloration. It's actually still warm, but we have no damage whatsoever. Some of this is actually wiping off. So if I scrub that, I could probably get that off. But it definitely has, you know, not damaged the uh, material at all. And if we open this up, let's make sure we try to get as much water out of the zipper area. Alright, so you can see, well, I can feel and you can probably tell, a little bit of water made it in for this particular bag. So, ideally, they should all have the zipper as well as the Velcro. With the Velcro, you don't have that same intrusion but zippers are not impervious to water completely. However, it does work for fire. So if you order these, I would suggest ordering the set that has the larger set uh, of two. You'll get the same size in the smaller, but the larger one does have the Velcro, and that's gonna help with water uh, intrusion. Now, obviously, water wouldn't pour directly on the zipper in the exact way that I did uh, here, and you may be storing these flat so the water is going to run off so it's probably not going to intrude as much as it would if it were sitting up like this with water introduced directly on the zipper but we're trying to go with the absolute worst case scenario of direct contact with water uh, directly in the weakest point so this particular one a little bit less capable the others far more capable but I wanted to use this one for the video demonstration so you could see and realize that this one may introduce water, but is not a problem as far as fire goes. All right, so if you wanna find out more about these, there'll be a link below the video. You can feel free to check that out. Look at the different sizes that are available. Again, it's a very small difference in the size, but you do get more protection from the larger because of the Velcro and zipper combination. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully you found that useful and Again, check out the link below for more information. All right.
Thanks for watching.